We'll start with a Mustad Heritage Curve Streamer C70 SAP salt water size 4. Super sharp hook with a micro barb and straight eye. The new uh, Alpha Point. We have Dyneema 55. This is the Grofreda variant. Uh, normally this pattern is tied just with Grizzle Marabou, uh, but I do a little different twist to it here. So we just attach our tying thread. I've got some, this is the Marabou, natural Marabou, from uh, Black Grouse. So any grouse, any pheasant game bird has this Marabou. Be a little different from bird to bird, but it's wonderful stuff. It has the most mobility than just about anything it's just absolutely wonderful so we'll just attack that in and then we'll follow up over that hackle up the hook shank and we want to stop uh, seven or eight millimeters behind the hook eye Like so, then we go forward. Want to make a little foundation there, just like that. I've got some medium bead chain eyes, which want to be attached a little ways behind the hook eye, if you can see that. I just want to tack these in there now. We do that figure of eight. Has to be tight. This. I'm going to come back to there. Um, take some super glue. I'll just put a drop on top. I'll spin that around and I drop below. That'll keep everything nice and tight. Make sure that your eyes are on an even keel otherwise it will fish strange not that that's a bad thing like that then we'll go back here now we don't want to disturb that tail really in any much way because we want that to have as much movement as possible then I've got three strands of pearl crystal flash. I want to trim all the ends of this to approximately the same length and we just put these on top of the hook shank like that, just measure them out just pull those over catch them in and this is just to give a little bit of flash in that tail once it starts moving, just go up to the eyes with these. There we go. Once you've gone up there, we can fold these back over the body. Go down to the don't want to mess that tail up again. There we go, that's good. And what we can do is we go up to the eyes, and we come back down again. This, then we can tie those off and we go up like so and we need a grizzle hackle and it's best to have a webby 
grizzle hackle because they have more movement in them than a, a grizzle cock hackle. So I'll just trim that off like so, so I can pull that up. tight down, move my tying thread back behind the hackle, so I'll just apply a hackle plier to that and I want to make, cut the turns at the front like so and we can go back over the crystal flash body in the Palmer style now, without disturbing the tail we want these three strands of crystal flash around. Now what I can do is I can twist these up a little and we go up through the palmer body behind the eyes tie those off pull them around the front just to secure them Go back behind the eyes. Oh yeah, and we can remove that. And we can remove that. And then we can carefully remove those. Pull all the grizzle fibers back. We want to go back with our tying thread a little. Like so. So what we want now is on the back of game bird feathers, so you find this on pheasants, on grouse, you get this. Which is the aftershaft feather was used very much by my late old friend Jack Garside. So what we do is we put a Petit Jean clip on that like so and we trim off all those lovely marabou spin out iron thread anti-clockwise so we can flatten it and split it and we take our marabou, place the clip all the way in catch it in and then we spin it up like so and then we come up here between the head forward like the long ones and we dub the head like so and we come in with our whip finish all these long fibers around the head that's exactly how it's supposed to be and when that's in the water all that really boogies and that's it just give it a brush 
the finished Gro Freda variant. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.